A very effective method of communications that has been instilled in the culture of our staff is verbal communications supported by written communications. First, we communicate verbally. We talk about the activities, the events, and ministries of the church. But then we follow up with written communication because writing is thinking clearly. This keeps our communication very clear and gives us something to fall back on when needed. It's not an original thought. In fact, it's exactly what the Lord is doing in today's Daily in the Word from Jeremiah chapter 36. Through Jeremiah, the Lord has verbally communicated with and against Judah, Israel, and many other nations because of the way they lived. And now, in a last-ditch effort to turn them from their evil ways, the Lord says, write it all down in a scroll. It may be that the house of Judah will hear all the adversities which I purpose to bring upon them, that everyone may turn from his evil way, that I may forgive their iniquity and their sin. So what happens? Well, first, the scroll was read to all the people. Next, it was read in the palace. Then the scroll was read to the king and his princes. But after three or four columns were read, King Jehoiakim would cut it out of the scroll and cast it into the fire. The royal court heard the word of the Lord, but they gave no regard to it. In fact, the king himself dishonored it by destroying it. So what happens next? Well, the Lord says to do it again, and the scroll is rewritten. But this time, the Lord speaks through his prophet to pronounce judgment. Therefore, says the Lord, concerning Jehoiakim, the king of Judah, he shall have no one to sit on the throne of David, and his dead body shall be cast out into the heat of the day and the frost of the night. I will punish him, his family, and his servants for their iniquity, and I will bring upon them all the doom that I have pronounced against him. But they did not heed. The Lord has warned Israel and Judah verbally, speaking through his prophet. He was patient with his people, communicating with them in written form, not once, but twice. And as chapter 36 ends and chapter 37 begins, we see the result to the king's arrogance as King Zedekiah is made king in the land of Judah instead of King Jehoiakim's son. And the prophecy is fulfilled.